Yo, what is up world, Matty Beeves here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is really good to see you guys. This week's vlog, I'm gonna be breaking down a small little scene that I shot a few months ago with a friend for a project at USC. So before we get into it, go ahead and roll the intro and I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I plan to film this entire video outside, actually out there, but it really isn't uh, the best time to do that because we had some thunder, we had some rain, and there is no sun outside, which really was the main factor of this week's little breakdown that I wanna do. I wanted to talk about how I'm going to be diffusing a lot of the light in this small scene, and I wanted to actually practically show you guys how I was gonna do it, but again, the weather really doesn't permit me to be outside because there's no sun and it's, incredibly windy and it might even start raining. So we're gonna do it from the comfort of my room. So without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into the scene. This opening shot here, I really am not diffusing anything because it's such a wide shot. And if you've ever filmed outside underneath the sun, if you don't have big enough diffusion, it's really, really tough to cover an entire wide shot. So we just kind of let it go for this. And as we get closer, um, I was able to actually diffuse the sunlight. So as you can see here, boom. There is no more harsh sun on her talent's face. And again, let's just take a look at the wide shot. You can see that the harsh sun is hitting her and it's creating a lot of shadows. But like I said, when we get in tighter, we want to diffuse that light to make it look a little bit more nicer and pleasing to the eye. And then boom, jumping into a medium shot or a two shot here. We have both actresses in the shot. And if you can take a look at the actress on the right, if you look at her knees, you can see the hard sunlight coming in just barely. And then the rest of her is really soft, even lighting. And again, I use these huge fusion cloth to give me that nice diffuse soft lighting. And I actually didn't have enough to cover her entire body. And I didn't really want to scoot in to make the shot a little bit tighter. So it's kind of a sacrifice. And again, if you refer back to that wide shot, you can see that there is some of this hard light that's hitting her knees. So it is a little bit acceptable. And when you're going in and out from the wide shot to the close up, it's actually forgiving to have nice soft light most people don't even recognize the changing of the light quality so i get a pass and if you notice any of the shows that you watch from here on out take a look at the wide shots see how the light is see how the quality of the light is compared to the close-ups and the medium shots and the two shots let me know if it's actually any different than the wide shot all right let's uh, continue and then we flip over to the other side to get the other actress and again i'm just using that nice diffusion cloth here it's just covering her and it actually feels natural and it feels nice it's actually consistent to the reverse shot of our other actress so in a perfect world i would have actually liked to have bounced more light into our subjects faces but I don't know if you can notice in the background, the leaves are blowing everywhere. It is such a windy day and I really wasn't able to do very much. We had a really small crew, it was myself, the director, the actresses, and then also one sound operator, my friend Jimena. She was operating the sound. So I didn't really have a lot of hands and I wasn't able to bounce as much light as I would like to, to add a little bit more contrast to our actresses' faces. So you kind of just have to live with what you get and sometimes it's much easier to just roll the camera and have something halfway decent than to take the time and potentially put someone's life or body in danger with the crazy winds and the conditions that we were working with. So I opted out on that and just kept it safe, kept it simple. And I think I was actually standing on some of these C-stands as the camera was rolling, as you guys can see here in this one and only picture that I got from that day on set. So yeah, I look pretty silly, but I was holding the fort down and holding the diffusion rags down so that no one got injured. I'm actually just gonna leave that photo here on the screen because it looks pretty funny and silly, but it works out. All right, so this shot here, our actress walks directly from the diffusion light into direct hard sunlight, which you can barely see as she walks out of frame, and then walks right back into some soft diffuse lighting, which again, I had that diffusion kind of off to the left of the frame here. You can't really see it. You obviously can't see it in this shot, but it is there, which is giving our actress nice soft diffuse lighting, which kind of keeps it consistent with the look that we've been having. And if you were wondering how hard sunlight would look in this kind of position, we wait a few more seconds we have the next shot which is a two shot and now we're hit with direct sunlight so you can tell there's a huge difference between the soft light that we have before and her single shot 
And then now to the two shot, we have hard direct sunlight, which is what it's gonna look like if there's no diffusion at all. So if you like this look, this is what it would look like without the diffusion. So again, I couldn't cover the two of them because the two diffusion cloth that I had was just not big enough. And again, it was super windy. It was gonna be super dangerous to have two of those flown up on C stands. It just wasn't very practical. And again, I would rather sacrifice the visuals for safety. And then we move into the over the shoulder shot, which we are now back into the diffusion world. The lighting is much more soft and much more flat and even. Again, this is a technique that is used all the time when you're out in the sun and you're using natural sunlight. You wanna diffuse that light, try to shape it and make it soft and appealing as much as possible, unless the story calls for very hard, harsh sunlight, but this scene really didn't call for that. So we have our soft diffuse look. It's something you just have to live with going from wide to close up and having hard light to soft light. And hopefully the audience and the viewer does not notice the difference between light quality. And if they do, well, probably the story or the acting isn't as well or good as it should be and it leaves the viewer to kind of wander and look around and notice these very small, subtle differences. But if you're a cinematographer like myself, I can't help but notice these things right away. So again, it's something that you kind of just have to gauge and work with on the day, and it's a sacrifice that you have to make and you have to be willing to make because you definitely don't want to slow down the rhythm and the pacing of the day when you're shooting. Most of the time, you only have 12 hours at maximum to shoot things. So you just have to make a decision and stick with it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this small breakdown. I really just wanted to highlight how I use soft diffusion during the day underneath the harsh sunlight and how you can kind of bounce back and forth from using diffusion to not using diffusion on the wider shots because sometimes you just can't really cover all that ground. So when you move in tighter, make sure that you do use that diffusion if that is what the story calls for. And if that is something you and the director talked about, there's definitely gonna be a difference between that hard sunlight and the wide shots and the soft lighting and the close-ups or medium shots. But again, hopefully your audience doesn't notice it because your story that you have written or that you've directed or that you're working on is just that amazing. So if you guys have any questions at all about diffuse lighting, let me know in the comments down below. And also if you enjoyed this week's vlog, you know what to do, go ahead and do a super jump on that like button down below and also Get subscribed to the YouTube channel because every single Wednesday, just like today, is a brand new vlog. I'm Matty Beavs, a cinematographer slash student, and I will see you all in seven days. Fight on. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I apologize if the autofocus was really whack. It's the Canon M50, shooting in 4K. It does not have dual pixel autofocus, so I'm sorry. It's only contrast-based autofocus, so if I move too fast, too slow. I actually did pretty good right there. <laughs> Anywho, all right, I gotta go. I'm gonna cut off the audio now, and then I'm gonna cut the camera. Ah. Yeah, I usually dip for those late. Oh, got it, got it, got yeah. it. All right, ready? Can you see? Yep. All right, scene one, Franklin. Take four. Mark it. Still got a siren. Heavy. Yeah.